It's pretty insane to think about, but my Valentine's Island is pretty much finished. And as always, once I am done with my island, about ready to do the island tour, I like to work on the interior of my house. I've done it for the summer and the fall iterations of my island, and now the winter. I did not do spring because, um, I suck. It, it just got overwhelming. I don't know. I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do anything. Something that helps me a lot when I am decorating my Animal Crossing house is creating these things called mood cubes. All I do is go into the room sketch app and make the smallest room possible. It's a four by four grid. And then I fill it with items that inspire me so that, you know, it's not so much pressure as to like plan out the whole entire room before, but I can get an idea of the items that I need to order and obtain and just like the general vibe. The room that I'm most excited about is the upstairs. Right now it is a vintage store, antique store, and I want to turn it into a Valentine's section of like Walgreens or something. You know what I mean? Like I want it to just be like the cutest Valentine's gift shop ever. The main part of my house, I'm actually going to turn it into like this public space, like a coffee shop cafe. So the big huge room is going to be exactly that. Right now I think it's just like a living room, kind of like Thanksgiving celebration. And to go along with it, I would love to do a kitchen that we do all the bacon and fun stuff in. And then my bathroom, I'm just gonna turn it into like a public restroom. I'm gonna leave my own bedroom alone, not touching it at all. Just love how she is. That's my room. It looks exactly how I like it. The last build that I would love to do is a chocolate factory downstairs. In its current state, it's the most lovely, beautiful um, brewery bar. I don't know, it, it was a cute idea, right? Love this concept, but I feel like I've done it to death because I also did like a summer like tropical bar so it's time to do something a little different of course i've already made the corresponding mood cubes live on twitch and i am ready to freaking go naturally we're gonna start with my favorite room the upstairs pulling up my mood cube here for inspiration i want to use plushies and flowers and all the cuteness so the first thing that i would have to do is get rid of everything goodbye it was nice you know while it lasted it wasn't my favorite room in the house by any means, but it was not bad. Oh my god, my storage is full. Will the pain ever stop? I had to get all the stuff out that I thought I was gonna use, um, and I gotta get rid of this roach. Sorry. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Roach in peace. I had to pull a bunch of stuff out just so I could make some room for things, but it is go time. Gosh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so cute. I know I want to have a clothing section, um, so maybe the bear won't go here. Maybe what'll happen is these puppies puppies are gonna go well actually because I have this corner thing you see this guy this little corner rack you're going in the corner that is so cutie patootie this bear this bear is posing problems I'll just put these changing booths yeah there that's fine the accent wall hmm maybe she should go on this side like the walls that look like real life things but they don't protrude out or anything they always just look so goofy to me it takes a little extra work you know to make them work i had to move some stuff around and pull some more things out hopefully i can get rid of what's on this wall can i can she yes ah Thank you, Jesus. It's just, I feel so much better now that it's gone. <laughs> okay, so I have the little checkout right here. I need to make sure I do not forget a gyroid. Yes, the gyroids are going to be put to work all throughout the house. And no, there is no union. I also um, found out about a pretty sick trick. Check this out. Look at these bears. You're gonna lose your freaking mind. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I figured that out all by myself. And you know what? Chocolate hearts. It looks great. So life hack, you could put the bears on top of theirs if you put them behind the bookshelf. Is that not so beautiful how that worked out? I don't know what to do with the middle of the room. It's pretty much my only qualm at this point. This area over there, that is gonna be a bunch of clothes hanging. Maybe I should go ahead and just start putting clothes in this corner. I have tons of cutesy little fashion items. You can expect nothing less from me. Oh, those little garlands too 
to. That's doing something for me. Yes, the the paper chains. Um, I put this little dreamy hanging thing. I don't know if that's cute or not. And then of course, um, all the clothes in that corner. It's just so perplexing. What are we gonna do in the middle? A, an option is to perhaps put a little table and display some things. It kind of sucks because I didn't grab anything that I wish I had now, like the little shirt piles and stuff. I wonder if I have anything like that. Guess what? I do have stacks of clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna be using them. I figured a stack of clothes. Ugh, I hate every time I reopen the thing, it takes me all the way back to the beginning. It's like, I was at a place here. Hello? Why does it do that? Only when you're working in your real house. They need to get their shit together. Um, it couldn't hurt to have more plushy. And then uh, this is supposed to be a ring pillow, but the light blasting directly on it is not helping. So maybe if I put the light over there, yeah. Okay, the ring pillow is really, really cute. It's super lackluster over here on this side though, like I'm not gonna lie. So what I'm thinking is maybe a rug or two will save us. Maybe not that one. <sighs> Stop taking me back to the beginning. I'm gonna lose my mind. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't like look like you can walk through, which I'm not really like that mad at because this is supposed to be for fun. Like it's supposed to just be like a little cutesy, fun little builds. It doesn't have to be like actually realistic. Or I could put it right down here. Okay, and then now I have a brand new big empty space. Yeah. Why did I do all that? I don't know. That's the only thing about doing a mood cube is like once I do get to the actual room, the stakes get a lot higher. Um, one of the big problems was actually the lighting. Like, look at this. Oh, like, get that away from me. It's like the meme, the one that's like, hello, human resources. That's how I feel about this lighting. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So much better. I will say that it could use some more decor and pizzazz, which I think I'm gonna add now. Also, I gotta keep in mind, though, that I don't have much to go around, so I gotta use things sparingly. It's time to walk away. This is it for me. The floor being white is that, is that cool? Is it better than the pink? I don't know. I might have to walk away from it for a second, but I kind of like the white floor. It's contrasting a little bit. Like, I, I don't know. That's just me. But let me know what you would change about this. I like to think that you would have everything you need if you needed to pick up a gift for your Valentine. Like um, this, this to me is a card rack, okay? It's for Valentine's cards. I know it's magazines or books or whatever the hell. Just imagine that it's like cards. You have a, a cute little Valentine's outfit fit section where you can get valentine's Day clothes <laughs> yeah yeah stay with me you can get a ring a wedding ring engagement ring you can get plushies plushies galore of course you can get flowers for your significant other i think it's just it's a win all around and the ice cream wall like please that's so cute yeah sure get some ice cream maybe you can get some chocolates with it. I like it. And I personally think the white floor maybe just looks a little bit better just because it's got this nice little contrast to it. So that is one room down. What is the next room that we're going to be doing, you may ask? I figured we might as well just conquer the hard thing. And to me, the hard thing is this room. I've mentioned this before, but like the layout with the doorways, it's just, it's a lot to work with, you know? So I never have super high expectations when I try to do this room. My mood cube here doesn't tell the whole story. For the mood cube, I basically just showed off like the cafe portion, but I was thinking maybe there would be a reading nook. I don't really know. I got to fill up a lot more space than a four by four area, which everything fit in perfectly when I did it this way. So we got a lot of work cut out for us. So here's what I did. I basically just tried to recreate the essence of the mood cube. I don't have the same exact wallpaper that I used. I guess I forgot to get that one. So whoops. But I'm hoping that I can make up for it by filling the wall with all sorts of fun things. Fun stuff and fun things only. It's also always a struggle to try to get everything looking good on like a larger scale, you know? I guess that would be like my main beef with the whole doing the mood cubes thing. Yeah, I got beef with my method of building and animal crossing. My priorities are in the right place. <laughs> Look how adorable the little cafe section is. And then everything else, I don't know. I kind of lost steam. <laughs> it is supposed to be the season of love and I am not loving 
how little I have to work with in my storage. You would think for somebody who has their storage completely full that they have items to work with and make this cute, but no, nope, I've been struggling this whole way. I have a bunch of stuff that I don't need. So yeah, maybe, ooh, maybe what I can do is my last living room had this sort of like a separation with the bookshelves. I just don't wanna like cut off the room too much. I gotta, I gotta have some things to figure out here. Wait, is this actually cute right here like this? So the bookshelves, it's like an open concept thing because normally I would put them in a different orientation to help block off the room and make like a whole new section, but putting them up against the wall, a little sofa and um, a bunch of like tables and chairs. Dude, I'm <laughs> I think we kind of killed it. Wall decor is my favorite, favorite thing to do. And I especially love that I'm doing a valentines -y theme because I feel like I just get so much freedom to do whatever the heck I want. All the pinks and stuff that, you know, didn't really go with like the fall theme. They're all mine, baby. I get to go crazy. Okay, so here's the deal is, um, oh my God. Oh. I, this bitch has been trying to come into my house for like the last week and I have always been in the other room so she'll just leave right away. I feel so bad turning her away. I'm sorry, but you need to go. You need to leave. You are intruding. And she brought me a gift. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, she's, she's leaving, she's leaving. Thank you for the gift. Love it so much, bibs. Okay, I was gonna play Bubblegum KK, don't have it. So I guess I'll do Robot Synth cause that's just fun. And I like to have fun. But this is what the cafe looks like. I think it's so pretty. If I can find that other wallpaper, like get my hands on it, maybe I'll change it. But this isn't like bad by any means. So of course we have our little cafe section and then our little reading nook here in this corner, which is just a adorable and it looks like just a perfect little place you can come and bring a date and then that corner I just put some randomness okay I guess I could have put another table my last thing is I want to place flowers on every single table top but once I'm done with that this room is golden baby so what is our next room going to be well we could either do the kitchen or we could do the bathroom I think we're just gonna go rip out the bathroom real quick like I can't imagine that it's gonna take Take very long. Cross my fingers. Let's hope. I wasn't like super confident in my mood cube concept. It was by far the one that we struggled with the most. So let's just hope it comes out how I'm envisioning it. Like already, this is so cute though. The only thing is I might change the wall. Uh, I don't know yet though. The lighting looking superb i wanted to do these two sinks instead of like the big vanity sinks these are just cuter to me sorry sorry about it here's another here's another concept for you bathroom attendant apparently that's a thing i only seen that in the movies like i've never ever seen that irl somebody sitting in the bathroom like giving out i don't know what they do i i thought that they gave out candies and like I, why did i think that i don't know people in my chat were like no that's not what they do they just like give you like a moist towelette or something and i'm like okay I, I thought i was gonna get like a yummy treat or something so now i feel stupid um but i figured that i could have a gyroid bathroom attendant i'm just now remembering that i forgot to put a gyroid at my cafe which is terrible terrible news i have to do that before i take my final clips i promise i'll do it because it would truly be tragic if i wasn't using my full labor force in my animal crossing island i feel like this room is just so simple like i don't really know what you want from me i don't want to overfill it with too much stuff like the point is not for it to be like a cluttered mess right which is kind of my specialty i want it to feel like a clean beautiful tranquil little bathroom situation so i'm not gonna overdo it i just want to fill the walls with like pretty stuff and um i like the music that the gyroids playing right now i'm fine with that he can keep doing his thing that's gonna just be the ambiance in here the lighting like looked good already i didn't have to do anything um but i do need to put my mirrors up and it's actually a custom design that i found i think i just looked up mirror on the custom design portal probably you know that sounds like something i would do but i'm gonna go ahead and place it on the wall oh 
Oh god, that's the wrong thing. Hold on, hold on. Demented all mirror bathroom. No, thank you. Oh, wait, this is a cute wall too. The wedding party. Why am I kind of a fan of that? I liked I liked my wall. The one that I had the pretty botanical wall. Where did it go? Imagine it's just gone forever because my mirrors. We have the black version, but like, what the heck? What is happening? I'm gonna lose my mind. I literally don't know where this wall went. Where did that wallpaper go? It is not here. <laughs> You're like actually joking. Are you guys seeing it and I'm not seeing it? I see a black botanical wall, but like I had the white one. I had the white one. This is horrible. What happened? What if it's in my inventory? Oh my. Why wouldn't they just put it in my storage? Ah! Okay, well. That's the bathroom. I'm done. Let me know what you would have done differently. I don't know. Like, I, I wanted to keep it simple, but now I'm kind of thinking I kept it too simple. I want it to feel like an elegant, beautiful public restroom, okay? I didn't want it to feel, like, super crowded. Okay, we got two rooms left. The kitchen and the chocolate factory. Now I know the chocolate factory is gonna give me trouble, and they're gonna make it double. So, why don't we just go with the kitchen? I think it'd be nice, right? Ah, why can't anything go right for me today? Like, I just, please, like, I can't do this anymore. Just pain, pain and suffering. I think I have veered off the beaten path a little bit. Is that the expression? I don't know. I decided to go with this vibe more so for the kitchen rather than whatever I did in my mood cube. It was cute because I like love the red accents and I love using the like pink ranch furniture, but I'm having trouble filling the space because I don't have like a ton of items to make like this big huge kitchen that is in my head right now, you know? Also, I'm having trouble even getting rid of stuff because my store storage is full like that's so sad so i'm slowly pulling things out and putting things back as i go this is my life i just have too much stuff but like not the right stuff <laughs> okay let's keep it sweet and just do cute fun little sweets like that so we got pie crepe pancake i do have a deep fryer i do have a deep fryer yeah do i just go ahead and throw that out or do i do the red scale <gasps> The red scale is cute. I'll do a couple stew pot, cause why not? Why not stew pot? I think it's a good vibe. I need another one of these thingies. Um, I need to craft that, cause I would love to have two. And then this is like the little expo stage. And then back here is like the whole kitchen. Maybe I'll put a tiny little baby seating area right there, but I don't know, no promises. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. I had to go all the way to Harv's freaking island just to cut customize this thing. It looks like a piece of ironwood furniture, but apparently it's not a craftable thing or so. I don't even know. I don't know, but I had to take it to retail so that I could get it pink to Rajik love. But this is the kitchen. Oh my God, it looks so good. I actually, I did forget about one thing. Sorry, I just need to put something on the wall right there. But I have music playing. Oh, you know what I do need is I need gyroids working. <laughs> we need gyroids in this house. Okay, yeah, we got a couple gyroids out. They are busy getting food out to all of our lovely customers um, that are not here. We actually chased away our only real customer, which would have been Silvana. We said GTFO, it's not ready yet. But this this is the kitchen. I think this is actually my favorite thing we've done today, which is surprising because I was really, really struggling earlier. But like, oh my God. Yes, she's kind of working. I love the little table and chairs in the corner because I figured it was like a little place where, I don't know, the gyroids can come and get a little cup of coffee. It's their break stage. Again, as always, let me know if you would change anything else about this. All right, are we ready for our very last room? The chocolate factory which I am shaking in my boots. I'm so scared. I don't know how this is going to turn out at all. But this is the home stretch. And so I want to just take a deep breath and just be confident. It's going to work out. It's so sad because I love this room so much. I really, really don't want to get rid of it. But it's just like, it's time. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe it's not. This is so funny right now. I, I can't do anything. I have no freaking room in my storage. I could go try to like sell a bunch of stuff, but I just don't want to have to resort to such drastic measures. This is, um, 
things are happening. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of slowly losing my mind. Okay, I just, all I hear are gyroids just <laughs> But I did manage to put some more things away in storage, not everything. I wanted to make this like overseer office, like watching over all the other worker gyroids, like the gyroid manager. Cute idea, yes or no? I thought it was. And other than that, I'm just grabbing like factory items. Of course, we gotta have like the big tank the big vat. I am imagining that's where the chocolate is inside of our chocolate factory. And then the little management section looking good. Um, maybe I could use like a special little rug over there. I'm not like loving the wallpaper floor combo just because there's so many things we could do with the wallpaper and flooring. And I, I, I feel like I can't commit to one thing right now. I am literally at a point where I can't, I can't continue until I get rid of stuff in my storage, which is so sad. But this is the progress. I mean, without all the shit on the walls, I think it looks pretty good. It looks like a chocolate factory, right? I did try to experiment with the flooring a little bit more. The wallpaper and flooring is definitely a tentative decision. I, I love the idea of having it be pink. I do. What if I just go crazy and go all pink? Oh, the My Melody floor is adorable. I gotta say, it's fun. So I guess I'm just gonna get rid of stuff in my storage and sell it. Hopefully I'll be able to make some more progress then. <laughs> I did it. I finally got the stuff off the walls. I'm not really super sure what to put in this corner. It used to be this vat thing and I figured why not put a DIY table there for me, for yours truly. It could be useful. I don't know what else we can manufacture in this chocolate factory though. Oh, maybe we could do chocolate cakes. Done. Dun dim -a dome Welcome to the factory. I wish there was like a chocolate bar rug. Does it make sense that there's gonna be rugs in the factory? No. Do I care? No. All I care about is it being super, super cute. Okay, I just gotta do the walls. Ah! Honestly, I, f I feel like I need to just walk away because I like ran out of wall items somehow. I don't know what is taking up all the space in my storage. Please spare me. Oh, also, what the heck is going on with the ceiling decor? I mean, come on. Are we kidding, huh? There's one thing that I forgot to do pretty much this whole time and that is polishing. So I'm gonna do that before I take like my final clips of everything. But I think that this looks pretty good. Um, the one thing that I would add is a column right here. I just don't have like a white column. I need to get that. So maybe I'll do that before I take my final clips, but this is my factory. We are manufacturing. Also, this does look a little weird. I can already anticipate the comment that would stick with me forever. Here, we'll do it. We'll do it like this. That's a little bit better. I think every single room turned out to be Pretty stinking good. Valentine's Island is the most inspired I've been for an island, at least for sure like in the winter. Maybe not of all time, cause I do love the spring. I'm gonna have to show you guys the island during cherry blossom season, of course. I, th I think that Valentine's Island is gonna slay cherry blossom season. But I just love this island and I loved doing the interiors here. It's just, chef's kiss. Thank you so much for watching. Again, we killed it. The next video will be my official island tour. So I really look forward to showing you that. I have a second channel. Please go watch my second channel videos. I do plan on putting up a video about my mood cubes and all of that fun stuff. So feel free to go check it out. If you like this video, you would probably like the one where I made like a beautiful flower field and a carnival outside and it went with Valentine's Island really well. Feel free to check that out. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.